Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about an article that Greg Allman wrote over at theathletic.com that speaks to the idea that Indomitian Sioux might not be returning to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So, as I said, Greg Allman recently did a mailbag article over at The Athletic, and one of the questions that he was asked was this. Now that the draft has concluded, what will the Bucks look for in terms of roster additions heading into the preseason? Will we see a Gronk or Sue headline in due time? That was from David C. And in the first paragraph of Amon answering this question, he said this, Gronk, definitely a strong possibility. But the Bucks were lukewarm to defensive lineman in Dominican Sue even before they used their top draft pick on a player at his position in Logan Hall. To sign him now would be to actively chip into Hall's role before they've even seen what he can do. Bucks GM Jason Light said he wasn't shutting the door on signing Sue, but then said there are a lot of injuries that can happen throughout the year, suggesting he might only be an option in case of a serious injury. Now, Almond did go on to answer the remainder of that question, but that is the main paragraph that I want to focus on in this video today, because I think it says a lot. I mean, a whole, whole lot. Now, what does this all mean? Well, First things first, the drafting of Logan Hall certainly does not help the chances of the Bucks bringing back Indomitian Sioux for everybody who was hopeful that the team would bring back Indomitian Sioux. And it seems like Logan Hall is more likelier than not going to be a starting defensive lineman on this team with Vita Vea and Will Golston, which I think is a good thing to see. I am a big fan of Logan Hall. I did an interview with him recently here on the channel, and overall, I came away impressed with his character, with his drive, with his ability, and I think he could do and probably will do a good job as a starting defensive lineman on this team. But this is surprising to me that even before the drafting of Logan Hall, the Buccaneers were lukewarm on the idea of bringing back Indomitian Sioux because it isn't like Indomitian Sioux was doing a bad job for the Buccaneers. He had six sacks last year. He was pretty decent as a pass rusher, as a run defender. Overall, I thought he was doing a decent job, a capable job as a starting lineman for this Buccaneers front seven. But again, you know, Greg Almond says there that even before the drafting of Logan Hall, the Buccaneers were lukewarm on bringing back Indomitian Sioux. So, what does this mean? Well, I think it certainly means that, you know, obviously in the case of injury, the Buccaneers could bring back Indomitian Sioux, but will it even be able to get to that point? I know that there was talks earlier in the offseason that Indomitian Sioux was up in Boston, and what did that mean with him possibly visiting the Patriots, what was going on with that, nothing necessarily came from Indomitian Sioux being up there in Boston, but you never know, right, you never know what's going on behind the scenes, and I think that if Sioux is out there in the post-draft free agency market long enough, I could very well see him signing with another team, and the Buccaneers would have to look elsewhere if they needed to bring in a veteran defensive lineman, that's what I think could happen. And I know Sue has come out and said that he's wanted to come back to Tampa and, you know, he, you know, wants to retire as a Buccaneer and all these different types of things, but it takes two to tango. Sue may want to come back to the Buccaneers, but, you know, if what Greg Almond is saying is correct and the Buccaneers really didn't have a massive amount of interest in bringing back in Dominican Sue, then hey, sometimes you just go separate ways and guys look elsewhere. It's actually a very similar situation as to what we're seeing with Jason Pierre-Paul now. And I understand people will probably be critical of this talk, of this report, quote-unquote, coming out here, this answer from Greg Allman, because the Buccaneers, they could use some more depth along the defensive line, and they will possibly add another veteran or two to that defensive line, but it definitely seems like it might not be in Dominican Sioux moving forward. Again, very similar situation to what we have seen from Jason Pierre-Paul uh, and the outside edge defender position right now for the Bucks. So yeah, let's just pay attention to what this team does moving forward. I believe Greg Almond also said in that answer that they have six 
open roster spots right now with undrafted free agents and all the other moves that they've made throughout this offseason. So we'll have to wait and see, folks. We'll have to wait and see. But this was a little surprising, in my opinion, given everything that we've heard this offseason. I mean, heck, I believe in his introductory press conference, Todd Bowles came out and said that one of their priorities was bringing back Indomitian Sue, and now we are being told that they were lukewarm even before the drafting of Logan Hall in terms of bringing back Sue. I don't know. It was. It's all kind of a little surprising to me, but I do get the idea of wanting to get younger at a position and overall seeing what your high-level draft picks can do as starters. I think that now it's become clear that the Buccaneers drafted Logan Hall with the intent of having him be that starting guy. Similar situation to what we're seeing with Luke Gedeke right now at the left guard position, and yeah, I am happy for Logan Hall. Can't wait to see what he can do, and We'll see what other veterans the Buccaneers decide to bring in if they do truly end up moving on from Sue. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Do you think the Buccaneers will still possibly end up bringing back Indomitian Sue? Or do you think this is very much a situation like Jason Pierre-Paul where it may be time to move on from a veteran in the Buccaneers front seven yet again? Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. I would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Now we'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.